y'all and welcome back. So today we're going to be doing another little thrift flip with my paint technique, but I'm going to change it up a little bit. So I thought I would share that with y'all real quick. I have this cute little lamb and before I had this idea, I had already spray painted it the solid gray color, but I took a look at my sheet picture in my bedroom and I decided I'm going to do something a little bit different with this little sheet. So what I'm going to do, I have my black paint here, okay? And I'm going to be painting the little face, the ears, and the little legs black. Yes, then I'm going to go over um, where it would be white with my other paint, and I'm gonna paint that white. Then once all of that dries, then I'm going to do my Vaseline technique and my wax technique. And we're just gonna see what it looks like. What's the worst that can happen? I have to start over and just paint it all and just do it a different way. It's just paint. And we may end up with something very unique and beautiful. And I want it to be like um, old and rustic and I really want it to look similar to the old look of the sheet in my picture that I thrifted. So, we're gonna try it and see. So I have my little bit of my black paint. It's pure black acrylic paint. So I'm gonna get this part done. And then I'm gonna get the white part done. And we'll just go from there. So let me get started. <laughs> Okay, so now that I have my black done, I'm gonna go in with my little white sample. I do not know what this color is. Any color, any white color, if you're gonna do something like this would work. I just happen to have this. My mother-in-law gave it to me. It's a sample um, paint. So I'm just gonna take this. I did wash my brush because I like this angle and I know it's kind of small and I got a large area, but I like the angle of it because this is allowing me I'm gonna hold this up real close so y'all can see. It's allowing me to kind of like where the light wool would start. Oh, I just put my hand. It's allowing it to look not, I don't want a straight line because it wouldn't be a straight line in nature. <laughs> um, so I like that I have this like, this little angled brush and it's kind of like frayed on the ends and it's giving me that look, you know, so. I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna try not to get my hand in the wet paint because it's really just wet right there. So I'm gonna kind of work on the back while that continues to dry because this is acrylic paint. This is acrylic. This is, what kind is this? This is a satin paint. It doesn't matter. Um, so I'm gonna do that real quick. And um, you know what I need to do? I need to put my Vaseline in a couple of spots before I do my satin paint. That's what I gotta do. So let me get some paper towels, get the Vaseline on, then I'm gonna go over it with my satin paint and let that dry and then we'll do the next step. I was forgetting my own steps, y'all. I will say on this particular project, I'm going to do it um, a little more sparingly on the Vaseline because I don't want as much of the gray coming through. Um, I don't mind some of it, in fact, I may go get like a, I need, I wonder if I have like, I oh, will do it with this. I was gonna say, if I wonder if I have like a little wispy paintbrush, but I'm just gonna do very, very sparingly on this. So I have my Vaseline and got some on there, but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna wipe some of that off. And now it's not as thick. And then I'm just gonna kind of wipe, wipe it over my gray part. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> okay, that's done. 
So now we're gonna do the paint. So I've stirred up my paint and now I'm just gonna kinda start going in here. I'm gonna start on this back side. to go in I'm finding that I'm having to go in and darken up some of these spots where it's just a little too gray coming too much gray coming through ordinarily I wouldn't mind that but I think on this particular piece I don't want as much gray coming through so okay so I'm just gonna set this aside and let it dry and um, I will reevaluate and reassess I do have one little spot over its little eye that I've got to touch up where I went a little too far down with the white, but it's no big deal. I can fix that. So let me go wash my brush out. Actually, I have another little brush I'll grab and just kind of touch that little spot up. But we're just gonna let this dry and I'll be back with y'all in just a little bit. Okay, it's been a little while with our little sheep, lamb, whatever you wanna call it. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my wax and we're going to start waxing this up and see what it looks like. Y'all, I love it so much. It is going to be perfect in my bedroom, on that shelf, under my picture. Wait till you see, y'all. Wait till you see. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it outside. I'm going to spray my sealer over it, let that cure, and then we're going to style it, and I'll show you. I'm so excited. Look how gorgeous it looks, y'all. Oh, God. Oh, I love it. And like with this technique, if you see that you, you don't have enough dark somewhere, just add it on there. Tap. I, I learned on this piece, I liked tapping it off better than rubbing it off. So I just would kind of tap. Like right here, I need a little bit more. So I'm just going to put that there and I'm just going to tap. Yep. Y'all, I love this piece. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me go get it sealed. y'all ta-da and look how it goes with the painting oh my word I love it that's exactly what this shelf was needing 
and look how handsome oh my gosh look it's just that was my inspiration up there it's kind of what I went with and I love that it looks all vintagey is that a word <laughs> um with my painting I just absolutely love it so much this one close up Oh, I love it. Okay, y'all, I call that another successful thrift flip. I absolutely love it. And as you can see, it did not take much to take a thrift store find that was kind of plain, looked a little, it would be perfect for like a little a little kid's room or a, little, a nursery or something, but it was just a little bit too animated for what I was looking for. And doing this paint technique on it, just took it up to that level where I think it fits in our room perfectly now. It looks very expensive. It does not look like it come from a thrift store and I only pay $3.99 for it. And the bonus is I had everything I needed to do it. So that's a win-win. So thank y'all so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this little thrift flip. I hope it gives you some ideas to maybe look at some things a little bit differently when you see them at the thrift store. Don't necessarily walk away from them just because they look kind of cheap or they don't fit your color scheme. You can always add paint and it makes a world of difference and you can also customize it and you have a one of a kind piece. Thank y'all. I love y'all and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.